Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with Beans in Belly. That's right, it's a proven fact that eating pork and beans at the start of a new year will bring you great luck and lots of good fortune. And this belief is based on not just centuries of anecdotal evidence, but also centuries of circumstantial evidence. But even if you're a skeptic and don't believe in such things, you should still try this. Since this is so delicious, I would make it even if it brought bad luck. I mean, not super bad luck. Like losing the TV remote. Something like that. So with that, let's go ahead and get started by prepping our pork. And what I have here is about a two-pound piece of pork belly, which may look a little bit familiar, since that's exactly where we get bacon from. And to prep this, what we'll do is season both sides with a mixture of kosher salt, freshly ground black pepper, and a little bit of cayenne. Oh, and I should mention, we have to do this a day before we want to serve this. Okay, because this is going to go in the oven for a long time. Plus, we have to refrigerate it overnight before we try to cut it up and cook it. But anyway, we'll go ahead and season both sides very generously. And we can also use that salt and pepper that fell on the plate to season the sides. And then once that's set, I like to place that fat side down on a piece of parchment paper. And we'll bundle that up before wrapping it in two pieces of foil. And by the way, the parchment paper is sort of optional. You could just use foil here. It will still work. But I feel like that parchment paper provides like an extra membrane of protection and possibly helps this retain a little bit of extra moisture. But anyway, like I said, we'll go ahead and wrap that in a couple layers of foil, which I will now go ahead and speed up a little. And then once our belly's been seasoned and wrapped, we'll go ahead and transfer that into some kind of baking pan or dish. And if possible, if you've kept track, we do want to try to place this in fat side up, at which point this is ready to cook very slowly and gently. And we'll do that by transferring it into the center of a 200 degree oven for seven and a half hours. Okay, so for pork belly, very slow and very low is the tempo. Which is why once it was done, because it's winter, it was dark outside. So you're getting the extremely rare Food Wishes nighttime shot. And then what we'll do at this point is absolutely nothing. All right, do not try to open this. Don't try to peek at it. All we're going to do is let it sit there and cool down before transferring it into the fridge overnight. Okay, so our pork belly set. And we can move on to the beans. And by beans, I mean black-eyed peas, which, by the way, are actually beans. And for best results, I do like to soak these overnight in cold water before I cook them. So that's what you see me doing here. And by the way, I feel like the theme from 2001 A Space Odyssey should be playing for this shot. But anyway, if possible, we'll go ahead and let those sit in cold water overnight. And as you'll see, they're going to absorb that water and kind of plump up. And I'll talk a little bit about bean soaking in the blog post, since it is considered optional. But I think if you're going to make a salad out of them, which is what we're going to do, they really do come out a lot better if you soak them. And then what we'll do is go ahead and drain those. And we'll add those to a pot of fresh cold water that we'll want to bring to a simmer over high heat. And what we can do while we're waiting for that is add one bay leaf, as well as a spoon of salt. And then what we'll do once this does come to a simmer is back our heat down to medium low and cook it for about 35 to 40 minutes or until the beans are just tender. All right, nobody wants hard beans, but we don't want these falling apart either. So we'll keep checking those as they simmer. And after about 37 minutes, mine were perfect. And then once our beans are just tender, what we'll do is drain those. And we'll let those sit just like that while we make our dressing. Which is going to start with some Dijon, or the mustard of your choice. And then to that, we will add some white distilled vinegar. As well as some rice vinegar. And then last but not least, a nice light olive oil. Although any vegetable oil will work. And we'll go ahead and take a whisk and mix this until it's nicely combined. And I should mention, we're using less oil here than we'd usually use for a classic salad dressing, since we really do want this to be very sharp and acidic, so as to balance that fatty pork belly we're going to add later. But anyway, we'll go ahead and whisk that up. And once that's set, we'll add the rest of the ingredients, which will include some finely minced garlic, as well as some finely diced red onion. I'm also going to do some finely diced jalapeno, and then we'll finish up with some diced red bell pepper. And we'll go ahead and give that a quick mix. At which point we will transfer in our well-drained, but still warm, black-eyed peas. And if yours have cooled off, that's fine. But I think this salad does come out better if you dress the beans warm. So we'll go ahead and transfer those in, along with another touch of kosher salt, and freshly ground black pepper, and of course cayenne. Then we'll take our spoon and give this one last mix until everything's combined. And if you really, really, really had to, you could serve this now, but I really hope you don't. Since this salad is significantly better if you let those beans sit in the dressing for a while. I mean, like, way better. So what we're going to do is wrap this up 
and let it sit in the fridge for at least four hours, or even better, like our pork belly, let it sit overnight. Which is exactly what I did. And then the next day we can pull it out, unwrap it, and finish it off by mixing it in some fresh herb. And I'm using freshly chopped Italian parsley, which is my favorite, but other bean-friendly herbs like thyme or rosemary would also work. So feel free to explore other options. I mean, you guys are after all the Daniel Boons of your lucky legumes. And then once we have our fresh herb mixed in, all we need to do is taste this for seasoning and we're done. All right, it might need some more salt, so give it a taste and check it out. But I'm happy to report mine was perfect, which means this salad is now officially ready for our belly. So we'll go ahead and pull that out and unwrap it, which took a little while. But that's okay, it gives me a chance to brag about how little fat rendered out. Okay, because we cooked this so low and so slow, this lost hardly any moisture or fat. Okay, you can see a little bit here and there, but as you can see, most of that fat is still intact. And at this point, we can cut this into any size pieces we want. And today I'll be going with some bite-sized chunks. And if you wanted, you could cut these pieces a little bigger, but I probably wouldn't go too much smaller. Otherwise, when you finish this in the pan, you might end up having too much fat render out. So for me, these size pieces are ideal. And then to finish this, all we'll do is transfer that into a dry pan soaked over medium heat. And exactly how much you want to cook this pork belly is going to be up to you. Okay, if you want, you can cook this very briefly until it's just barely heated through. Or if you want, you can keep going and cook these a long time until they're well browned and getting crispy. But keep in mind, the longer you cook this, the more fat renders out. So I don't like to go too far because that pork fat is so soft and melt in your mouth, it would be kind of a shame to leave it all in the pan. So I kind of like to split the difference between the two extremes, and I'll cook mine until the outsides just start to get browned and the edges get a little bit crispy, which I think gives you the best of both worlds. And once we've determined those have cooked long enough, we'll remove those from the pan and proceed to final assembly, which means spooning up some of our beautiful black-eyed pea salad into a bowl, which we will then of course top with our hot pork belly. And I went ahead and finished up with a little extra Italian parsley, and that's it. What I'm calling beans and belly is done. So I grabbed a spoon to dig in. And what makes this dish so amazing isn't just the flavors. It's all the contrast between the two components. All right, we have that hot, rich, succulent, fatty pork paired with our cold, bracing, acidic salad. Okay, those earthy beans, the crunch of the peppers and the onions. So having two components that are so opposite in every way, when you bring those together, you really can achieve something very, very special which is exactly what's happened here. So while each component would be enjoyable on its own, together they are infinitely better. And this truly was one of the most delicious things I've eaten in a long time. Oh, and by the way, if you're not into the beans and belly bowl, this recipe will also make for some incredible lettuce cups. Although the head of butter lettuce I had in the fridge was very fragile, so I would have liked something a little more substantial, but incredibly good nonetheless. But anyway, whether it gets wrapped in a leaf or packed in a bowl, I really think you're gonna be blown away with this combination. And while of course no one can prove this brings good luck, the more important point is no one can prove it doesn't, which is why I really do hope you give this a try soon. So head over to foodwishes.com for all the ingredient amounts and more info as usual. And as always, enjoy.